welcome back to episode whatever of Aquarian Skies. I've got my episode one again. Whoopsies. So what are we going to do this episode? Let's have a look in our book. What did it do off air? Um, I, well, off air I actually farmed up uh, quite a few animals in safari nets because as you saw I was spawning um, ghasts in here with the roof off, flying up, killing them, managed not to die once at all. And, which is actually kind of surprising and yeah I have myself a whole load of gas tiers gas tiers 6 um, 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so we've got all kinds of animals including um, all kinds of mobs anyway endermen spiders normal skeletons zombie pigmen a gas you saw that uh, creepers Blazers, imps, a laser focus, ignore them, I've just put them in the chest for the water and a wither skeleton, as you can see I've renamed that um, Safari Nest wither skeleton because it's, the any data shows that it's just a normal skeleton, but if I plonk it down in the world, uh, this is going to be a bit risky, okay, plonk it down in the world, it's a wither skeleton. Okay, so I just renamed that just to show you all that I've got that. I did a little bit of farming of wither skeletons off camera but as you can probably see with a, I've only got one wither skull out of the god knows how many I've killed so yeah I need to work on a way of improving that. So anyway we've got a way of getting an infinite amount of mobs now that's a good sign so we can actually start work on some stuff that needs it I think. Anyway let's have a look what we need in the quest book. Right so We've started work towards, um, for the hoarding quests, um, we've got, Badoo, what if we could, we can actually complete massive storage, um, we just need to make a tesseract frame, um, how do we get a tesseract frame? Um, we need some enderium stuff, if the game doesn't freeze on me, please don't freeze on me, I've got a feeling it's freezed on me. Oh no, it's back, it's back. Okay, so we need one Tesseract frame empty, uh, which requires Enderium ingots. Uh, we're also going to need some more hardened glass. Um, okay, yeah, I probably should have prepared for that. I'll do I'll do some crafting off camera in a little bit and get ready to do that. Uh, slimy? Yeah, let's start work towards slimy. Uh, so we're going to need congealed green slime. So for that we're going to need a normal slime. But what I've also got in here is a slime... Bucket, liquefied liquid slime bucket, and if we get a net, we should have a spare safari net in here. Yes, we do, and we plonk this liquid slime bucket down in the world. I'm not sure whether this has to be in an. Why are you spawned out here? Get oh god! I didn't realise they. I need to sort that. That shouldn't have spawned outside of that little box area. Oopsies. So we need to plonk this down somewhere where it won't go everywhere. So inside here is a good start. Yep, it went everywhere. And will you transform into a slime or will you just start sp spawning slimes? That's the big question. Um, oh god, that's got everywhere. That's okay. Scooping up the liquid slime buckets back up and I'm thinking... Oh, you spawned one. Awesome. Let's cut. Have I caught the slime? I've caught the blue slime. That is pretty damn awesome. Now let's just replant you seeds. Do do. And I instantly trampled some of the dirt. Oh uh, well. I don't really need that anymore. To be brutally honest. I've got more than enough apples. So if we plonk slime in here. I'm not sure if this will actually spawn it. Because it may need a bigger area. And I've really t gonna change this area off, off camera because this needs to be a bigger space um, to be honest we're going to do that yeah it needs a big space because we're also going to need oh there we go there's a slime kill that and it drops other slimes are you not going to drop any balls any slime balls oh I know why it's on ex one exact copy that's why it's going so slow Okay, um, God, there's too many. We're going to have to get a sword out. Um, okay, let's just block you off into there so that you can't come out. Whoa. There we go. 
they can't actually get past the this blackout curtain which is basically just some wall some black wall and we've got more than enough ink so let's actually recharge this thing because you're running a bit low on the old power Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo. okay let's just kill you slimes and turn the machine off because it well, you know this is gonna be fairly easy too if we actually get a grinder to kill these slimes oh god come on no 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 you're not killing me you're not killing me Okay, I need to get in there and turn that thing off. <laughs> Good damn it. Yeah. I'm probably going to move... In fact, you know what? I'm going to do that now. Ooh, a heart canister. I am going to go downstairs and I'm going to craft up another grinder. That's probably going to save my life. There we go. So let's get a grinder. Grinder. What do I need for that? I need a lot of stuff. I need you. I need tooting gears and I need two of you, four of you even. Have we run out of your sticks? Let's craft up a stack more of you. That should be enough and some paper for books. And we should have ourselves two books. Oh, we used leather. That was a bad idea. I didn't realise I was using leather right then. Okay, and we can make our grinder. Perfect. I'll plonk you down. What the hell is happening here? There's too, way too many. Okay. Right. We're going to have to fly in the top here and disable it that way. Okay, way too many slimes here. Hover mode enabled. There we go. Way too many slimes. Oh, God. This is a disaster. Maybe they can get through the curtain. Okay, um... Shoot, how am I gonna... And they're outside. Is that slime water? Or just normal water? I think that's just normal water. It's a good sign. Um... Shoot. Yeah, well, the good news is we're not gonna be short on slime balls. Come on, I'm going to do this, eat up a little bit because I'm about to die, god damn it. Um, flip that lever just disable the amount of, you know, disable the amount of mob essence that's going into it so that we're actually limiting the amount of mobs that are spawning. God damn it, these things hurt pretty hard, which is annoying. Do -do -do -do. Mini ones don't, mini ones don't hit for anything I don't think. No, they don't. So if we get them all down to mini stage. Okay. Can I dive in? Can I dive in quickly? No. There we go. I've got it. I've got it. No more spawn. No more spawning. That's a good sign. We can just start killing the crawns that are currently in here. So yeah, we really need a grinder in here and to really do some massive rechanges to this area. Just look at it. Way too many. Way too many mobs and way not enough room. Okay, um, first change is going to be placing of a grinder. Get out of here. Power mode, just one hit KOs. There we go. Placing down a grinder there. And underneath it, whoa, I'm nearly starving to death. That would have been a disaster. And pickaxe. This is just a temporary... How did you get out of here? Get out of here. I've got a feeling I'll be cleaning up those slimes for a long time. Okay, so is it there? Yes, awesome. So now we've got... We should have power flowing into our grinder, but it's not wanting to do it. Why is power not flowing? I mean, it's hooked up to power. Let's try breaking you and replacing you. Where did they go? Into the vacuum hopper, I'm guessing. God oh, damn it. Splimes everywhere. Do do. Okay, item output at the back. And one grinder. 
Yep, it went into there. There we have, it's got power. Uh, now, any mobs that spawn in there should die, but that's not really going to... That's all help temporarily, but not really going to help this problem with all the slimes out here. There's only one solution, and that's hitting them with an axe. Okay, so we're probably safe, say probably, to plonk the safari net back in there. Start spawning a load more slimes, and we just need to go downstairs and basically kill these ones that are downstairs. Yeah, you're gonna die. Slimes, sorry, sorry you're dying, but it's the only way. Where did that one go? Did it die, or did it? I think it's dead. Looks dead. I can hear it though, that's the annoying thing. And once again I'm starving. So yeah, the mob should spawn in here and with just a little push, go into the grinder's radius and die. I'll probably, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go off camera and basically move this little area somewhere where basically that can happen. Yeah. I'll do a little building off camera and I will be back once I've got a better room for it than that room so that mobs don't start spawning everywhere like they are now. Alright, be back in a bit. Okay, so welcome back. It's been a little bit of a while since I last recorded this episode video thingy because of reasons. A, it's been way too hot and B, I've been busy. So yeah, um, off camera I built this thing. So yeah, it's good. It's good, good, good. It's spawning lots of slimes and we're killing them. Ow, stop, Just don't hit me. Because it may look like it's a bit big, but let's have a look. Let's go up here and grab a hammer. Because hammers from the uh, Mine Factory Reloaded mod, hammer, actually show you the area where grinders work. So if we break this block, we should see, and grab the hammer in our hand, all of that is pink. So anywhere in there, and if a mob happens to spawn in there, it'll get instantly killed by a grinder. Uh, mob essence will then be recycled back into the system. And yeah, it's not 100% self-sustaining because unfortunately it uses slightly more mob essence than it um, produces. But that's what that thing's for. That's just going to constantly top us up once mobs drop down here. They're not all stuck here. One sec, there's a quick way to this. Yes, and that is two. Just go up here and kill a load of mobs. Or in fact, just pop your head up here. Whoa, no. What is happening there? I don't know. Don't know what just happened. Scared. I'm just, I'm just gonna escape now. Nope. Stop hitting me with arrows. There you go, you're dead. And escaping. Perfect. So that thing should be reset. We should be seeing mobs go down there in just a minute. Any minute now. Don't show me up. Yeah, there we go. Mobs are actually coming down there now, and what the hell is? There we go. I've landed. Yeah, I think there's something wrong with the boots I'm wearing because um, I get thrown all over the place at times. It's not good. I think it's the unstable one enchantment on there, but they're the best boots I have right now. So I've got a jetpack. I'll live through it. So what am I doing now? Well, we've got the mob essence and we're working our way towards the slimes now. How many slime balls do we have? 76, so we're well on our way. Well on our way. <coughs> 79. Yeah, that's producing a hell of a lot of slime balls. So we've got one part of it. Now the other thing we need is green slimes. Green slimes are a bit trickier to get and I haven't... We have to find a slime chunk and I haven't found a slime chunk yet. I will... Keep searching off camera to find, try and find a slime chunk, get a slime to spawn it, and farm that up. So yeah, that's all that done. Uh, so what else do we need? Well, um, if we look in our book, and I'm sorry about my voice, something's wrong with my throat. I think, anyway, it's a bit high-pitched. I don't know if you can tell, if, but <coughs> I definitely can. It's maybe just one of the things that you're very self-conscious about. Um, what we need is, we've done, oh yeah, go with the flow, we've done that. Hell's Kitchen. We're going to need quite a few things. We're going to need some heavy cream, salt, cheese and fresh milk. 
So, for fresh milk, we're going to need a cow. Do we have any spawn cows? No, but we do have spawn villagers. Spawn chickens, they're not real chickens. We might as well spawn one, see what they are. Uh, spawn a silverfish, I believe they are the actual chickens. Spawn mushroom, they are actually mushrooms, pigs, sheep, and chicken. I, but there is actually a way to spawn a chicken, uh, to spawn a cow even, and that is with leather and blood magic. Uh, now we don't actually have any leather because I accidentally used them whilst making books. So we are going to have to produce a leather. So produce leather with, um, oof, where is it? Yeah, three zombie brains, a flint and a water bucket. So let's grab a bucket Might as well. There we go, one bucket. We can get rid of that liquid slime bucket now. We don't need it anymore. We're all good in that department. So we need a water bucket. Flint and zombie brains should be, in fact we may have some in our ME system. Show me zombie brains. Awesome. So we should have three zombie brains and a flint. Plus an orb. Yeah, weak blood orb to do goes into here in this pattern. I'm not sure whether it has to be this pattern or any pattern, I'm just putting it like this. Just because this is the one that it shows in the interface. So once that's cooked up, we should have three leather. And leather can be used to make a spawn cow, spawn pig or spawn mushroom. There it is spawn a cow by dunking it in the blood altar over here no idea why that was an elongated here but you know here and in a second there we go one spawn cow now let's get a safari net okay let's make a safari net one Safari net. No idea what the difference between the. What is a jailer safari net? Do I've no idea. Let's get a reusable safari net, and let's capture a cow in it. Spawn cow. Mm. Capture. Awesome. So now, if we plunk you in the, let's go underneath. Don't trust those slimes. But do we should have just about? In fact, let's check. Do we have enough slime balls? If not, I can always. Go off camera. How many slime balls? 159 and we need for the quest. You're a wizard Steve. Nope, not for your wizard Steve. For the hoarding. We need... Oh, they're blocks of slime. Okay, so we're going to need a lot more. So we may as well just take it offline for a little bit. Because we're going to need four times the amount that I thought we needed. Let's take you out and put some cows in there. And they should start spawning up. Now, if I add some levers to the grinders. Um, of course, I haven't got the levers in there. I really need to make a recipe for levers. Use them so often. Okay, we've only got enough for two. Seriously? What are we missing? Sticks? Yeah, sticks. Let's make a stack of you and get some levers. There we go. More than enough. So if we apply a redstone signal to these, it should turn them off. Yeah, that idle bar is staying up there. So we should be spawning tons of cows in there. And do turn you off, turn you off. Yeah, the size is a bit messy because you can't see it normally. So I just thought, why not leave it a bit exposed? So in here, we should be getting cows and lots of cows. No idea why I just jumped a bit. Oh, that's a skeleton. That would have been disastrous. Blue slime. Do we not have a spare? Okay, there we go. So if we set up a little area where we can put cows, um, using, I don't know, walls? The hell? Stop doing that. Walls. Uh, we've only got 27, so let's make a few more. Do-do. That should do. 
just created a little enclosement for these because I do have a bit of a future plan for these rather than just using them for milk temporarily because we need a milk some fresh milk for this quest they're what the hell you you all saw that literally just flew forward it's insane right I'm going to make you I'm running out of room so I'll probably move this at a later date to yeah this is just a temporary cow farm do 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 damn it that's in the way glowstone knocks are brilliant for brilliant for lighting up the place bad if you actually because you can't actually see them which is a good and bad thing you know just get in the way constantly um so cow let's just start transferring them over to here ba -do, do -do -do. Do, 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 do. You know what? I'll do that off camera at a later date. Probably in between this and the next episode. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we've got cows in there. And now all we need is a bucket. Mm -hmm. do. Give me your milk, cow. Thank you. Uh, so to get the... We've got the milk bucket. That should register up. Um, where is it? Hell's Kitchen. So yeah, we have fresh milk. Oh, is this a manual submit? Manual detect even. Alright, um, so milk buckets. We now have four fresh milk. Let's manually detect that. Oh. So cheese should be... How do we make this stuff actually? Give us cheese, salt, butter and heavy cream. So cheese, how do we make cheese? To make cheese is a milk bottle of fresh milk and salt. How do I get salt actually? Uh, pulverize, pulverize... Is there not a better way to make salt? In fact, I'm fairly sure if I get a bucket of water. Badoo, come over here, get a bucket of water, or ten. And if I do this, will I get the bucket back, actually? That's... Mm. No, I don't. Well, we've got more than enough iron. Oh yeah, we do get the bucket back, my bad. And 24, 28. So, too, if we do that. No, how do we get salt then? I'm sure there was an easier way to get salt. Oh, there it is. There's the right result. No, it's not. Stop it. Stop doing that. Salt. Tell me how to make Pam's Harvest Crest salt. Ah, you need a pot. Buckets of water and a pot. And we have salt. So, we're probably going to need about. Five of those, probably, all in all. And we're also going to need... Mm. Get back in there. So we need a cheese. Give us cheese. Mm. Oh yeah, put the salt in there. Give us... Now give us cheese. Perfect. And give us... Butter. How do I make butter? Mm. Butter, mm. butter, butter is that which is salt and some heavy cream to be there we go so we're going to need two of you probably and butter what's missing there you, gave, you made it a second ago heavy cream ah wait a pan have we have we not got a saucepan damn it Craft up a stack of those, one under there, gives us a saucepan, and we can now make... What? This is a very annoying recipe, not gonna lie. Butter, and give us a heavy cream for the manual detect. So, we've got everything, so we can claim a reward of a full heart and a cherry jerry sandwich. Very nice, so we're now on 37 lives, awesome. And we've opened up smooth ice. Smoothies and ice cream can be made by mixing snow and juice. Let's make one of these glacial precipitators. That should be easy to make, I think. Mm. Give me one glacial precipitator. No, I'm missing stuff. So we need one of those. Um, mm. Do we have buckets of water in our inventory? No, we've used them all up. So let's grab two buckets of water. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, damn it. I'll fix that at a later date. That water's just going to be annoying me. 
You there, you there, and what else for the glacial, glacial precipit thingy, this thing, um, we need that. So we have one glacial precipitator. Claim reward, that was easy. Um, so we got one full heart out of that, and a good reward back, giving me a load of rubbish rewards. Um, let's put them away, they're just clogging up my inventory to be honest. Do, do, do. And let's use PB&J sandwich. Oh no, it's cherry jelly, not PB&J. So yeah, we've now opened up, oh, a lot of car. That looks easy enough, a presser and a soybean. Um, well, how am I going to get soy seeds? I'm going to need some grass. Yeah, that's going to be it. I'm going to need some grass, so let's get some grass seeds. And just a little bit of dirt. In fact, can I bone meal? No. Um, I'll try, I'll try. Bone. Just wondering if I can bone meal normal dirt to spawn sand, though I doubt it. No. Spawn sand, spawn grass is what I meant. So I'm going to need some dirt. Something that we have tons of. And I'm going to need to set up probably about a... 9 by 9 little dirt area. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Just an arbitrary size. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And back. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm also going to need to light this area up. Should be easy enough. We do. Okay, so I'll be back once I've built this. I've actually realised I've run out of time pretty much for this episode. Although that's not the fine, right kind of grass, is it? Doesn't matter. It gave, ooh, it gave me a seed. It gave me an artichoke seed. No, that's not the right kind of seed. But there are so many seeds that uh, this mod, the Hunger Overhaul mod, have added that it's a bit ridiculous and I probably won't be able to get the right seeds of this episode. So yeah, um, I've actually run out of time, so that's going to be it for this episode. I'm just going to quickly grab some grass, the right things, some mm. grass seeds, that's what I wanted, not grass, normal grass, and plant them down here. It should start, there we go, gives us a grass block, and if we use a watering can on that, we can spread it to other blocks. So yeah, I'm going to bone meal that grass off camera. Um, let's actually grab some watering can is what I wanted. And there we go. So I'm going to basically bone meal that off camera, spawn load of grass, break it and hopefully get the right seeds so that I can do some more progression along the quest line for the next episode. So until then, I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Bye bye. Try to like, comment, and subscribe because I keep saying that, but nobody does. Do it. Come on. Bye bye.